Hey guys, what is up? This is Devin Lavor coming at you. And I've got a little interesting word from the Lord that I wanted to share, felt led to share with you guys. And I felt like the Lord said, this was a couple days ago, um, but I felt like the Lord said, friends are coming, okay? And I'm like, okay, you know, sometimes you get a word from the Lord and it has to process, it develops, and it has to fully bake, right? But I felt like the Lord said, friends are coming, and this is what he meant. He's like, people, he's going to have people come into your life who are going to be physically present in your life. You know what I'm saying? Physically present. We have all kinds of long distance relationships. We have online relationships. And that it is, this word is not meant to dismantle or belittle any of those relationships. But I felt like the Lord said there's coming people into your life. And if this is for you, the spirit of God's going to hit you with it. You're going to know it's for you anyway. Um, but there are people coming into your life physically in your life, in your neck of the woods, <laughs> um, that they're just going to get you. It may be one person. It may be two or three people. I don't know, but they are just going to get you and you're going to be able to, to develop friendship with them. You know, they may be people that you might already know or have known. They may be brand new, never before seen people. But I believe the Lord's saying it now is the time that he's getting ready to orchestrate these meetings. Okay. And it's it's a divine appointment. It's a divine like activation of relationship that you need in your life especially with the things that you're getting ready to go into. Now, when I say the things you're getting ready to go into, don't go negative and think, oh, man, I'm getting ready to go into something dark and heavy and stormy and crazy. No, I don't think so. I think that they're going to be there to support you and you're going to be there to support them. You're going to get them. You're going to really understand. You guys are going to be knit at heart. Yes, thank you, Jesus. You know what I just got right there? Jonathan and David. That's what I'm talking about right there. Their hearts were knit together to the point where there was no competition among them. There was no comparison among them. It was total abject, just abandoned, reckless humility between one another. And it was just all about the glory of God. You know, how can we be of use to the one true king? And there's just going to be a provision of you for them and a provision of them for you. And together there's going to be Jesus and the spirit of God, you know, in the middle of all of it. And so I get this word on that. Here's the cool part. Check now, check this out. And I get this word and it's just the raw word itself. Right. And then. We get this Marco Polo from a friend of ours um, who lives not, she lives in North Carolina. And she's talking about I me. Mean, she went on talking about this great breakthrough and the dreaming to living type of thing that God's starting to do in her life. But in the midst of that, she connected with this person who she just felt like it was a divine appointment. But they both kind of felt it. You see, it's one thing for you to feel like there's a divine appointment. But then if the other person doesn't feel it, it's like, hmm, it may not be what you thought it was, right? Uh, or maybe what you hoped it was, or maybe God had that, but it was they you both weren't feeling it, so it doesn't really work out, you know. But in the, in her case, they just both felt just the the spark of the Lord, and that person lives in her area, you know what I'm saying? So they can get together physically, contact each other anytime they want, you know, and it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be, you know, in each other's face all day, every day, all the time. You know what I'm saying? That's not necessarily always what intimacy means or close friendship means. You know, it's a heart condition where two high level, humility level <laughs> people get together 
It's uh, it's 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 a, a level of relationship that I believe the Lord's called covenant relationship. He's kind of showed me like there's four different kinds of relationship, and the number four is the highest, and that's just the kind that Jonathan and David had. And of course, they didn't hang out a ton either, but they were just definitely just they were absolute 100% friends. And so that happened that day, and then just last night we heard from another friend of ours and she lives in Arkansas. <laughs> and she was like, hey, you know what? Um, we were, I was thinking about coming seeing you. Me and another friend who's also a friend of ours, we're thinking about coming and seeing you guys. And we're just like, wow. I was like, oh, okay, that's awesome. And so in that, I just saw like, wow. Lord, you really are orchestrating this, getting it going and trying to do this physical contact of friendships type of thing. And I'm like, wow, that's really amazing. You know, and so, you know, because we've been in the wilderness for a long time and God is he's done a lot of different things with us relationally. But as far as like people in our lives on that level four level, it's just that's just not happening. People have to come and visit us in order for that to take place, <laughs> you know? And it's just like, whoa, is that getting ready to happen for us too? Because sometimes here's the truth that we don't always like to talk about, but in a prophetic sense, like sometimes you give a word and God's having you give a word that's not even for you. <laughs> it's not for, I mean, it's a word for many people in the body of Christ, but you know, in your spirit, giving the word, you're not one of those many, you know? And so... And I don't know how frequently that happens for me or not. I have I don't keep track of that kind of stuff, but but I really felt like this is, you know. And so so um I hope that encourages you. There is a provision of godly love in human form that you can that you can hug and have coffee with and watch movies with and talk about the things of God with and you know and it's going to be a great multiplication I was going to say addition to your life but I felt like the Lord said it's going to be a great multiplication to your life and it's just going to do just really awesome amazing flower blossoming things I just see a flower just blossoming and it's just there's so much just going to be going on with this uh friendship thing that God's going to be doing. So I hope that encourages you as much as it encouraged me when I got it a couple days ago. And so, um, yeah, thank you guys. Bless you guys. Um, and also again, I have to say a huge thank you to those who continue to keep giving to us here and there. Um, I know our support is really not nearly, I mean, nearly what it used to be, but man, God is still providing in one of the most miraculous ways I did not see, did not see coming. And, and so we are doing okay. I mean, we are staying afloat in the air, in our boat of life, you know, um, and so if you guys would like to give, there's a cash app Vidmo and, uh, PayPal link below. Um, you can give there and we just appreciate it. And, um, but until next video, uh, we will see you guys later because we got so much cool stuff to share. We're, we're just praying about what kind of, if we're going to do one video or a couple videos, we don't know. Um, because God is just moving. June has come and it's been like, whoa, major change, major shift. So, all right. Love you guys. Bye-bye.